This is the homework for Lesson 21. We're in Module 5 of Grade 3. Please write your name here first. Use the fractional units on the left to count up on the number line. Label the missing fractions on the blanks. So here is number 1. It tells us here's our fractional unit, fourths. And we just have to figure out the uh, missing fractions. So here's 0. We're going to start with 0 fourths. And then there's 0, 1, 2, 3 fourths. 5 fourths goes here. And then 6 fourths comes next. We're just counting by fourths. And now we're labeling uh, eighths underneath the same line. So there's zero, there's one eighth, and what's missing right here is two eighths. And this is in between three and five eighths is four eighths. And in between, well, let's see, one after six eighths comes seven eighths, then eight eighths. Then we have nine, ten, eleven, and now twelve eighths. 13, 14, 15, 16 eighths. Now we're labeling thirds. So zero thirds. Then we have a mark here for one third. A mark here for two thirds. And the next would be three thirds. You guessed it because that, that's what makes a whole. One whole. And four thirds and five thirds. And finally, six thirds. And now in sixths, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sixths to label. That's all of them, right? So these are the sixths here. Actually, the thirds are also sixths. So this one here would be one sixth. Then this would be two sixths. This one would be three sixths. So this one here would be four sixths. And this one here being one, that's a one whole. That's going to be six sixths. And then here, so six sixths, this would be seven. This would be eight, eight sixths. That would be 9, so this has to be 10 sixths, then 11, and then 12 sixths. Use the number lines above to color fractions equal to 1 purple. Okay, so I'm going to do some circling here. First, I have to get, first I have to get a purple... purple highlighter equal to one purple oops I gotta undo that Fix this. That was zero fourths. Get my purple back equal to one. So one equal to one whole. That's four fourths and my eight eighths and the three thirds and the six sixths. And fractions equal to two fourths should be yellow. So two fourths, here's two fourths, and four eighths is equal, and let's see, looking at this here, we could also, we didn't label three sixths, but it would be if it was, so there's nothing to label there. Um, color fractions equal to two 
in blue. So let me get my blue highlighter. You can use it like a colored pencil or just circle it. Or you, you can circle it with a marker, something like that. If you have highlighters of all these different colors, then sure, go ahead and use them. If it's equal to two holes, then I'm going to color it blue. There. Fractions equal to five thirds. We're going to color those green green five thirds so we're gonna find five thirds so we're gonna look where the thirds are and oops find where five thirds are that's right here ten sixths is equivalent and do we have it doesn't look like any of that there's nothing really in the fourths or the eighths that really line up there and now it says at the end, write a pair of fractions that are equivalent. Well, we just have to find ones with matching colors. So how about, I'll just pick any, you can pick any two that match. So I'll use 8 fourths and 16 eighths. Use the number lines on the previous page to make the number sentences true. One fourth equals how many eighths? So we'll go back to the other page. And here's one fourth. And so we need two eighths to match up to that one. Oops, wrong marker. Six fourths equals twelve something. So let's see, six fourths. Let's find that first. Here we go. There's the six fourths, and that's twelve, same as twelve eighths. And the two thirds. Here it is. That's the same as or equivalent to four sixths. So we need a four for our missing numerator there. And we could keep going back and forth, but hopefully those three examples will give you an idea of how to do it. Uh, and you might have seen a pattern. Um, you might have seen a pattern going here. And here, if we double the numerator. We double the denominator. And here we're doubling the denominator. So we're going to double the numerator. And 2 equals 8 fourths. Well, if we go from 4 to 8, we doubled that. So this has to be 16 eighths. If you double the numerator, the denominator, you have to, to get an equivalent fraction, you have to double both of them. And you can go back and forth and look at the other page or hold it next to it if you have one-sided copies. Mr. Fairfax ordered three large pizzas for a class party. Group A ate six-sixths of the first pizza, and Group B ate eight-sixths of the remaining pizza. During the party, the class discussed which group ate more pizza. Did Group a or B eat more pizza. So there are three. Okay, that makes sense. Now there are three large pizzas. So group A ate six sixths. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. This is group A's feast. And they're going to eat sixths. Right, so that's a whole pizza. Then I'm gonna need sixths, so each of these is one sixth. So 
Six of them, right? Six sixths. In group B, since they're all large pizzas, they're all the same size pizza. Group B also ate. Now, if you just a little safety tip for your tape diagrams, match up your endpoints. And then you can use those to met to, to you've already figured out where your fraction lines are going to be for your sections then you just bring them right down so this one here down there this one here down there but then group b eight eight six so that's we need two more sixths So there's our explanation right there. Group B8. Two more six. Of we could write the pizza, but I would say I'll say of large pizzas. Now I've just been thinking about a different way to draw that picture. What if they're round pizzas? Most pizza we expect to be round, I suppose. It says later for B here, group C ate all remaining slices of pizza. What fraction of the pizza did group C eat? Use words and pictures to explain your answer. So this is what we're going to do. There are three large pizzas, right? So you could have drawn a picture like this right in the beginning for that first one. And then just kept, kept the label. So... I do sixths kind of like this line down the middle and I try to make an X to try and look like they're equal and it usually works out pretty well okay so a had six of these right so I'm just gonna label them a ate that one that one that one that one that one and that one and B had eight of these eight slices right that's six, seven, eight. So C had to have this one and that one and that one and that one. It's one, two, three, four. So group C eight, four, six. Of large pizzas. And so you it's really a lot better to just have a picture like this, a labeled picture, than to um than to try and you or you could try to describe it with like probably two or three sentences. Or you know, write some equations. You could write some equations too. Uh, but this picture is really the best way to explain it and show it.